But let's first introduce viruses. So viruses represent a separate kingdom of the living world. Viruses are uh, not like bacteria or fungi or other organisms that can exist uh, and grow as independent agents in the environment. Viruses are very, very small, and so all they really have is the genetic material to drive their duplication, but to actually carry out their duplication, they have to go inside of a cell. And so penetrating living cells becomes very important, and then a virus is able to divert the cell's macromolecular synthesis toward ends which are, are dictated by the virus. Viruses have one of two kinds of genetic information, either RNA or DNA. This differentiates them from everything else in the living kingdom uh, that all use DNA as their genetic material, that use DNA to, to send information from one generation to the next. Uh, viruses can use RNA. RNA and DNA are very similar to each other chemically, uh, but they're very distinct in how they uh, are functioning in, in biological systems. And so it's, it's interesting and maybe even a remnant of an earlier world that RNA can be a genetic material. Viruses can grow inside cells of all sorts, animal cells, plant cells, even bacterial cells, and bacteriophages were the first viruses that were studied by molecular biology. But if we're going to understand viruses, we've got to understand them in the context of the central dogma of molecular biology. And that central dogma, as first uh, elucidated by Francis Crick, um, says that DNA can duplicate itself, can make an exact copy of itself. And so it can go from cell to cell in an exact copy. The DNA in any given cell can be transcribed into RNA, and that the RNA constellation of a given cell is very important in terms of the specificity of that cell. A skin cell has a different constellation of RNA than a liver cell or any other. And finally, that the RNA encodes protein. Proteins are the workhorses of viruses as they are of cells. In 1970, I had the good fortune uh, to make an observation that added a piece to the central dogma, and that is reverse transcription. Reverse transcription is the ability to reverse the ordinary flow of information so that RNA gives rise to DNA. And that's something that was thought to be particular to viruses. As we will discuss, uh, it has much wider implications than that. Now, since proteins are the workhorse of any biologic system, the messenger RNAs that encode proteins are the most important endpoint of a molecular system that allows for controlling cell behavior. And so we can classify viruses by how they make their messenger RNA. And in particular, there are DNA viruses and RNA viruses. The DNA viruses come in two kinds. One kind has double-stranded DNA, the standard kind of DNA that we find in the nucleus of all of our own cells and the cells of, of other organisms in our environment. So, for that double-strand DNA to make messenger RNA is pretty straightforward. There's a copying mechanism called uh, DNA-dependent RNA polymerase that copies uh, DNA into RNA. And viruses either hijack the cell's DNA-dependent RNA polymerase or they bring in their own. Then there are some viruses that have only one strand of RNA, of, sorry, of DNA. And those viruses have to duplicate that strand to make a double strand, then that can be transcribed into message. So they have a somewhat more complicated life cycle. Then we have four kinds of RNA viruses. RNA viruses that have double-stranded RNA as their genome, and they have a polymerase that can copy double-stranded RNA into single-stranded messenger RNA. Then there are viruses that have only the plus strand, which we call the messenger RNA or sense strand, the plus strand, uh, they have the plus strand of RNA in their genome. Viruses like the common cold virus uh, are like that. They get copied into minus strand. The minus strand becomes a template 
for more messenger RNA, for more plus strand. Then there are viruses that have negative strands uh, of RNA as their genome, and they get copied into messenger RNA in a direct fashion, but of course they have to be duplicated, so then they have to copy back the plus strand into the minus strand. And finally, we have viruses of the re retrovirus kind that have RNA as their genetic material, but copy that into DNA, first into one strand, then into two strands, and finally that can be transcribed into messenger RNA.